and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos I have a giveaway going on on my channel it's still open so don't forget to enter that I'm going to put the link down below so you can see what rules you need to follow to be in that giveaway today I'm going to show you guys how you can easy get that nice flawless makeup look now time for holidays and everyone want to look the best they can sometimes it's kind of difficult to know what kind of products you need to get that nice flawless makeup look now you don't ha need to have a lot and i'm going to show you exactly what kind of products you're going to need and how you're going to apply them to get flawless nice and healthy looking skin and makeup application so if you're interested to see how i do that please keep on keep on watching so let's start now i already have moisturized my face and filled in my brows just to save some time and don't make this video too long it's very important for you to take care of your skin to really moisturize it if you have acne problems to take something that will help you calm down the acne and if you have dry skin or something that will moisturize your skin if you have oily skin something day cream that will make it mattify it a little bit so it's very important to take care of your skin and to use the moisturizer every day and that will definitely let, help you to get that smooth nice flawless look now what we can do with makeup to help with that now the first thing you need is a um, primer now I have two different primers here, I have a lot of primers, but two different products. This is a silicone, the ordinary silicone primer, and this is more water-based. This is with coconut water hangover with, from Too Faced. Now I like both of them. I Sometimes I use this one, sometimes this one, it depends what kind of foundation I'm using. But today I'm going to use uh, this from the ordinary. Now what I like to do with this primer, I don't have a lot of it. Just take a small amount in between my fingers, warm it up and tab. Now I don't use it on my nose and under my eyes. That's because I'm going to use another primer. Why I use two different primers is because I have a lot of, I have big pores around here and no pores here. And I feel like my skin needs two different primers because my skin is combinated and has different needs so after using this primer here I like to go in with this one and this is um, pro financial uh, pro balm to minimize the appearance of pores from benefit now I have small size you don't need a lot of this product now I like to use this one I have a couple of these I got in my glossy box and um, that's why I never bought the full size but when I finish this one I will definitely get that one if you don't have this one take some other primer that is pore minimizing they will fill in the pores now you don't need to use that primer all over your face if you don't have big pores here on your chin or somewhere else I have big pores around here on here and down here that is why I use this primer now I take small amount on my finger just a little bit warm it up and then what I like to do is to tab this in and this fills in my pores and makes my skin look flawless I know if you can see in the ca on the camera but it my pores already look smaller after using this primer what I like to do is go with the foundation and doesn't matter what kind of foundation you're using it today I'm going to use my Milani conceal and perfect foundation 2 in 1 number 3 light beige and it's a little bit darker than my skin tone but I like to do it if you're an old subscriber and have watched all couple of my videos you maybe already know that I like my foundation to be a little bit darker now when you apply your foundation you can choose to use a sponge or a brush now I love to use both of them it depends what kind of foundation I'm using but go, if you decide to use a brush don't push too hard you're going to move around your foundation and move around your primer and your foundation is going to break out it's going to look heavy it's going to look cakey and you're going to have like streaks or I don't know what they are called 
on your face and your foundation is going to look uneven. Now, if you're going to use a brush, be very gentle, small emotions, or buff, buff slightly. If you use a beauty blender, now with the beauty blender, you have to push harder, not do like these small emotions or soft emotions because it's not going to seek in into your skin it's going to look too much and it's going to be look cakey so be fast and push harder you're going to push your foundation into your skin and it, you're going to get that flawless look now today i'm going to use my sponge beauty sponge and i'm going to shake this foundation now you can use to put this on your um, beauty blender or on your skin I like to like do it like this and yes it is a little bit darker than my skin but I like that now I'm going to take my beauty blender and push the foundation into my skin Don't forget your ears. Take it down. It's like now I can see that my pores are not as visible as they were before. So now when my foundation is on, I like to go in with the concealer and I don't like to put a lot of the concealer because then I found look heavy and cakey. So I take just a little bit under my eyes. A little bit here, not too much. And I take my beauty sponge. And blend. Now it is important to set the concealer. And what I like to do is to use a powder now you can use whatever powder you like I like to use this Laura Mercier powder translucent but you can use your favorite I'm not going to bake but I'm going to go in heavily why I do that is because I want to fill in the pores that are still visible so I take a lot of the powder on my beauty sponge first I need to remove any And then I go in and press, press, just press. Don't do any circular motions or up and down emotion, motions, just press. More and press everywhere where I have those And I don't know if you can see, but it looks so nice, smooth and even. And my pores are not as visible as here. I don't know if you can see it. Do the same thing here. Press. Then I like to go look in my mirror and see where I have pores, visible pores, and use more of the powder that I have. Up here. Now it does look powdery, but we are going to fix that. Now because this powder I only use where I have a sealer, and uh, this powder doesn't help my skin not to get oily during the day so what I like to do are when I feel happy with how it looks I then go with another over with another powder 
setting powder. Let me just remove this one. I like to go in with the Stay Matte Remove Powder and use my sponge, put some product on and also press over. Now it does a look powdery, but we are going to fix that. And this powder helps me not to get oily during the day. And I do like to take this powder on the rest of my face with my beauty sponge. And why I do like to press it in and not use a brush because I feel like this is this is going to fill in my pores and this is going to fill in any fine lines or uneven skin. Now I have powder all over my face. It's time to contour and for contouring I like to use my Wet n Wild contouring palette. So I like to use this brush, tap in, press. We want this makeup to look flawless. Don't take your bronzer or um, contouring powder here in the middle of your cheek because it's going to look uneven. So I like to take it where my um, hairline is and blend forward. Do then circular motions. I like to go in with my brush into my hair because it's going to look flawless and I'm not going to have that white line. So contour is going to look nice and even. So I like to do small emotions, circular emotions. Let's start here and blend. I'm going now around with around my hairline to blend. I have a small forehead, so I'm not going to bring this contour too much down here toward my eyebrows because it's going to make my forehead look smaller and I don't want that. So blend a little bit of this into my hairline. I don't know if you can see right now, but it looks very nice and smooth. Now what I like to do is go in with my bronzer. And the bronzer that I really, really like is this but, uh, butter bronzer from Precision's form Formula. I think I pronounced that right. This smells so nice. I'm going to use this kind of brush. Tab. and also I'm going to do exactly the same thing directly on my hairline just above the contour and blend circular motions But down here. So what I like to do right now is to take a blush and you can use whatever blush you like. I like to go in with this uh, Kardashian Beauty. I love this blush. I don't know what shade this is but but I like it and I go in with uh, a fluffy brush. And what I like to do, I don't go immediately straight on the apples of my cheeks. I like to go a little bit here on my cheekbone first and then blend a little bit forward. I think this gives me a very nice healthy look. Then I like to go in with a highlighter and what I like to use is this Midnight Sun from Makeup Geek. With any brush that you like. I like to use this kind of brush. This is Luxie 512 Small Contouring. I like this brush because it makes my 
highlight look natural and heat and blend it here At this point I go in with a setting spray and I would like to use this Pro Fix Oil Controlling Fixing Spray from uh, Makeup Revolution and uh, I do like this spray, setting spray, so I like to go in all of them, yeah. Then I like to take my beauty blender and press. So guys, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye.